My point is, why wouldn't we just look for exactly how we become conscious? Saw the film iRobot. So the, the robots, all humanoid robots, there are these large vans that have robots that are not, that are decommissioned or that, but they're still kind of alive, but they just have no purpose until they're programmed for their utility to be your partner, to be your whatever. And in the van, the robots grouped with each other. They weren't just maximizing their distance and their pattern was not random. And someone asked about that. What do you know about this? And they said, we don't know what's causing this. What we do know is that there's a lot of residual programming that was never fully cleared out when we added new utility to these things. And this is exactly evolution, okay? There's leftover stuff right. in us yeah. from a time that we don't need it anymore. Right. So what the hell is it doing in our head? It's intrigued that <laughs> th it was the leftover programming that was not refreshed in the continued evolution of humans, or in the case of those robots, the continued layering on to the functionality of them. And there's legacy software right. that you don't know what it's doing. So that was, I, I was intrigued by that. I just want to share with you that observation.